clarifications related to the English language list of core and prerequisite objectives. The English department at the Center for Educational Research and Development opted to consider the following curricular skills, learning objectives, and performance tasks instead of themes, units, and lessons. The reason behind that is the fact that we are working on a national basis, and we have to take into account that not all private and public schools use the national textbooks. We reduced the curriculum, not the books. In this respect, the curriculum performance tasks were minimized from more than 3,000 to less than 2,000. The objectives and performance tasks chosen are related to five skills, listening, reading, oral communication, written communication, and thinking. Study skills and cultural awareness objectives were not selected as they can be embedded within the content of the lessons. Listening and oral communication must be given enough time in class, even in the upper grades, as they are important for students to develop linguistic skills. All themes are required. Teachers may start with a minimum of one selection for each theme to familiarize students with the topic and then, once all themes are covered, they may choose additional selections. All grammatical structures in the original curriculum for basic education grades 1 to 9 are required. Teachers need to select the structures that must be introduced and reinforced. Then, they can allot the time accordingly. Teachers don't have to abide by the sequence of themes as they are listed in the books. It's worthwhile mentioning that the following documents issued by the Center for Educational Research and Development are still valid. Official exam specifications for grade 9 and 3rd secondary in all its sections. The suspended lessons in themes national textbook series from grade 7 to the 3rd secondary. Accordingly, teachers need to familiarize students with all kinds of questions required for the official exams. Some objectives, such as those related to fallacies, are not usually required in the official exams. However, they are significant for students to learn as they help them develop arguments in the secondary grades. Likewise, other objectives are not usually given priority by some teachers, yet they were kept since they are crucial for students as they prepare them for the university level. Some performance tasks may not be considered important, such as those which require miming, role-playing, or writing diaries. However, they were kept due to their value in supporting the student's psychological state as they are a part of the psychosocial support. Objectives were chosen according to their progression, priority, and significance. The first table is about the core objectives. The first column includes the skills, listening, reading, oral communication, written communication, and thinking. The second column includes the required core objectives and performance tasks of a specific grade level. The learning objectives are shaded, whereas the list of objectives which fall under them are the performance tasks. The third and fourth columns include the criteria for classifying objectives into core. The third column includes objectives that are considered core because they are prerequisites for the subsequent grades whereas the fourth column includes the performance tasks which are considered core in terms of knowledge, skills, attitudes, and or values. The fifth column includes the number of sessions required for each objective. This does not mean that each skill needs to be separately taught at specific sessions. Here, please note that language skills need to be taught in an integrated manner. The number of sessions is an estimate which guides teachers into how much time to spend working on each objective especially that some objectives could be revisited in several lessons as need arises. The second table is about prerequisite objectives. The first column includes the skills. The second column includes the required core objectives and performance tasks from one grade level to the upper grade. The third column clarifies whether each performance task will be taught at the beginning or during the school year. The fourth column includes the number of sessions required for each objective. Again, we draw your attention to the fact that language skills need to be taught in an integrated manner and that the number of sessions here is an estimate. 